in 2002, a Texan waitress called Kelly Clarkson auditioned for American Idol. Almost a decade later, she's had seven top ten singles in the UK alone and become a household name. Known for her feisty, straight-talking lyrics, she's just released her fifth album called Stronger. We'll speak to her in a moment first. Here's a look at her new single. It's called Mr. Know It All. Which is a single. Kelly's here now. Hello. Morning. Welcome Morning. to the program with your album Stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes, that's one of the songs mm -hmm. on the album. So we, we named the album after that. So great message. Yeah. So. Well, you're you? all about empowerment, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. I'm kind of like maybe overly so, but yeah. No, I like, I don't know. I like a feisty song. I like um, an anthem. So yeah. Very, I, well, I, I just felt guilty listening to it, really, because yeah. I've been lectured. Because <laughs> you missed a note at all. <laughs> well, don't do anything wrong. <laughs> but I don't feel like a lecture. Simples. <laughs> I love this line. Okay, it's not called, I can't remember the name of the Dumb plus dumb equals you. Oh, yeah, that was a song that came in for the album as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's more it's of like my ghetto fun song. Any, yeah. any, any, anybody in particular? No, I mean, I think it's just, I mean, everybody, unfortunately, has probably had a relationship in their life where you're just like, wow. Either I was drunk the whole time or you're actually stupid. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, yeah, an unfortunate <laughs> thing. So Good. Okay. You co-wrote co five of the songs yourself, didn't you? Uh, half the album, yeah. Yeah. So where do you start? Um, you know, it's always different. It's always um, about life stuff. Like, so if I'm in a relationship or a work environment, a lot of this record is actually more about work relationships than... Work like a boy relationship. Yeah, I always write metaphorically, like I make it like a guy, but I'm dating or something, but it's always usually about work stuff, so. Yeah, there's just a lot of, you know, problems sometimes, and then a lot of stuff to write about, so yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. You see, that makes it more interesting knowing now that you're writing about work rather than relationships. A lot of times, even on previous albums, I think that. So, so all the sort of, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and I mean, what, what, that's more what, what like, is that about? And it's hard to break me, that's another line. Thank yeah, you. no, and that's all about, I think... Everybody, like, not even just famous people, everybody in your whatever walk of life you're in, like, or doing your path, like, I think everybody has, like, hardships and hurdles that you have to overcome, and a lot of that is involved with work for me more so than relationships, like, personally, so. But it has much more impact, also, if it's about affairs of the heart, rather than, you know, you can't really write a song saying, why don't you ever get the T's in, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. It's um, it's more of a mainstream thing too for pop to write about relationships with guys. So I usually turn it into like a metaphor type thing. So. How has the last? I mean, it's almost a decade now, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's exploded onto the scene, winning the first yeah. American Idol back in two thousand two, yes. which must seem like an awful long time ago. Um, sometimes it feels like twenty years. So. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Did you know it's what you? Were, I mean, nobody really knew what they were getting in for. Because it no. Was the first. Yeah, no. We, I, we were almost afraid that it was going to be a big giant joke that would really hurt us, like a lot of the contestants on the show. But, um, and we didn't know nothing like that had ever really happened. And then it just blew up. And I ended up working with a lot of great people, so we ended up being successful. And mm. the longevity has really helped prove well, everybody but it's, wrong. Yeah, so. exactly. That's exactly the yeah. point. It's one thing to win the competition. But it's another to, to, to build on yeah. that, which you have because I don't know what's happened to subsequent winners here, but for instance, Will Young was the first winner of Pop Battle, Pop Battle here yeah. and, and has done very well. But winners of other similar competitions have yeah. largely faded from view. But, and, and everybody brings that up to me, but I think it's more, um, I think that's more to say because of the contestant. Like the show just gives you your 15 minutes. It gives you like that chance to be seen on television. It's what you do afterwards that yeah. really counts. It's like who you work with. If, I think a lot of people just want to be famous, so if that's your goal, it's not going to be long term. So, because yeah. everybody can be famous, it's called YouTube. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who you work with, you've chosen to work with some pretty spectacular yeah. people, and Stevie Wonder is on. Oh, is it on this one? It's well, it's on your new album. The one I've heard has got no, no, no. not my album. You're confusing. Am I? Yes, we'll come back to oh. that later. Oh, that's <laughs> another one. That's another, I am that's big, another album. No, I hey, am but do you want to hear it? No. no, I am a big fan of Stevie Wonder, though, so um, he is actually one I of my biggest I got my album smuggled up you tonight. Did, yeah. Oh, you're that good. That was Pixie Lot. She's coming on later. <laughs> oh, okay. She's recorded but with But you do Stevie want Wonder. to sing, you'd like to sing with Adele. Do you want to I do, I love yeah. Adele. She's, I also love Ellie Golding. She's from here, I think. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she's you have a to wait. A vocal surgery, She has vocal surgery on her vocal cords, so you have to hope that she gets a voice back yeah it, it, I think it's just one of those things you have to figure out as an artist like it, we all have that like right in the beginning not surgery but we all have problems right in the beginning figure out what your limitations yeah. are but is so. it a big when you start particular and Adele's an experienced performer when you start is that and you're performing a lot do you have you know you, you were putting a lot of strain on your that's yeah, I mean, and that's it, though. You just have to figure out how many... Every artist is different. Like, I remember right when I started touring, people would say, oh, well, this person can do four shows in a row. And I'd be like, well, they're not singing. 
So I'm like, I'm singing every night, so yeah. I can't do four shows in a row. So it's more so knowing as an artist what you can handle vocally. Because you want to give your best, like, to every show that you do. Of mm. course. So um, I am particular about doing one on, one off, one on, one off. So. Right. Shall we have a look yeah. at your number one UK hit, which is yeah. a, a song that Sean actually sings to me every morning. My, <laughs> life, would, my life would suck without you. She's still... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you going to be performing in the UK? Um, uh, actually, we're doing um, morning television kind of type stuff. We're, we already did um, X Factor the last time I was here. Yes. We were in and out like a day. Um, and then we're back just doing more promo, um, talking to journalists, and just getting the word out on the album. So, are you yeah. touring? No, we're not touring until we start in January in the States. So, um, and then we start making our way around the world after that. So, 2012 will be. When there. you're okay. at home, you like to, you've got a, see, you've got a sort of ranch. Oh, we have a rescue ranch, yeah. Where is that? Um, it's in Texas. It's um, it's like 60 acres, and we have like any, and <laughs> we have llamas, donkeys, horses, dogs, pigs. Are there such things as rescue llamas? You have to rescue llamas? Yeah, well, we rescue the ones that, there. some of them are rescues, and some, like that one's a rescue, but some of them um, we bought like in the beginning, and then now it's turned into a rescue ranch, because there's a lot of animals that people just want to kill off, because either they don't have enough money because the economy, mm. or um, people just want to put to sleep because they're unwanted. So, oh, wow. yeah, my family, were really into animals. So. Does the llama have a name? Do what? Does the llama have a name? Do you give it a name? Uh, my, it's my sister, Dolly Llama. So, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's my sister. She's she named him. So, totally <laughs> yeah. very good. And you rescued two dogs as well yourself. Um, yeah, our, we rescued Katrina. many. Yeah, um, for Katrina, we actually only could rescue one because mm. they made you like it was a weird thing that happened. But I saw this thing Anderson Cooper in the states, and I was like, Hurricane and I told, Katrina's was up. Yeah. yeah, it happened. And then I told my brother I was on tour, and I was like, please go drive there and get some of those dogs. I felt so bad. He did this whole report on how all these animals got left behind. Mm. which I get it was a disaster but at the same time it's like really sad for this yeah. dog so yeah baby that's my dog that I got from there so. really yeah <laughs> Kelly thank you very much yeah, for coming thank in you. Nice nice to next see time you. I will have a Stevie Wonder song Will you? <laughs> <laughs> we should all have yeah, a Stevie Wonder yeah, yeah I know I hope yeah. I do <laughs> what Stevie Wonder that'll teach me for putting on <laughs> shuffle won't it yeah, I know <laughs> it's, it's good, good. Kelly Clarkson in the car thank you very much Kelly nice to see you